A brazen burglary in New Orleans has one family feeling hopeless just before Christmas. I just felt safe. You know, I was in disbelief when I came home. And the single mother came home to find her TVs, jewelry, even her child's Christmas presents stolen. The break-in happened on Friday in broad daylight. As Paul Murphy reports, friends are rallying around the mom and her son in the true spirit of the holidays. A Christmas thief broke into Julie Lodato's home on Riviera Street in Gentilly on Friday, stealing just about everything he could haul away. The burglar took TVs from her and her nine-year-old son's bedrooms, a computer, and other valuables. He also went through her closets. Close your ears, earmuffs. He found all the hidden Christmas presents I had in the closets, you know. So he, um, he, he, he did all that. Thank God Santa's still going to bring stuff. Lodato says the burglar tried to enter the house through her bedroom window, but he ended up using garden tools from her shed to break in through a side door. There's some shovel markers right here, and um, yeah, that, that's how he broke in. The Grinch then went room to room, rummaging items as he slithered through the house, even taking her paperwork. I guess, you know, just like bank, bank statements and things with my social security number on it. There's quite a bit of construction post Katrina rebuilds here in the Oak Park subdivision and neighbors say that there is always work crews coming and going and that has sort of lowered their guard when it comes to strangers in their neighborhood. Yeah, I was with you. It was very shocking. I mean, in the middle of the daytime, hauling stuff out of here. Lodato thinks the burglar parked at the abandoned house behind her property and loaded up her belongings undetected. Friends raised money to help her recover from the burglary. With that money, I'm hoping to be able to build a fence in my backyard. She says the burglar may have stolen her stuff, but not her Christmas spirit. Would y'all guys like candy cane? Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. The burglar may have been waiting in Lodato's backyard as she left to take her son to school. The break-in happened around 9.30 in the morning. We're told neighbors, surveillance cameras caught some images of the burglar.